Yo, 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 what's good, boys? It's your boy Chaos bringing you guys another video. This is the last video for this weekend league. It's games 11 through 18. As I mentioned in the first video, which you guys, uh, which if you guys haven't seen, the playlist will be up above in the top right corner. I'll put it in a card. Uh, make sure you check it out. The second video had probably the best game all year. Both videos had really competitive games uh, and really, really good content to learn from. So if you guys want to check those out, make sure you check out that card. Um, but I do want to mention you guys were awesome last video as we get a nice little user pick right there. You guys were awesome with the likes on the video, man. You guys blew the goal out of the water. So I want to give you guys another one today. If we get 150 likes on this video, I will drop you guys the best tip of Madden 19 all year, guys. I'm coming out with it on Friday. That's what I'm hoping for. So if we can get that like goal, we'll make it happen. 150 likes on this video, I will drop it. Now, this tip is going to be very, very, very good and very familiar to you guys from previous Maddens. But it's not been done in this Madden yet. So I want you guys to look forward to it. You guys are really going to like it. Now, let's jump into the video. As you guys just seen, a straight laser for me to go up 7-0. So we're already, we're already up a stop as well as... Uh, as well as a touchdown, a full touchdown, so it's a full stop. Right there, he throws right in my cloud flat, but we can't make anything happen. Um, but it's still fourth down. Uh, so we're playing hard flats here. We have a spy, we're all over him, and we get the pick. Spin out of there, and we're gonna take that one to the crib. No problems. So we're up 14 nothing now. Great start to the game. Um, pretty much a perfect start, really. We're up two stops and two full scores with two touchdowns. That pretty much means you're gonna be dominating the game. And as you can see, he's had enough. And uh, we're gonna get out of there, but I can't stress enough, guys, that I appreciate you guys all liking my videos. Um, it helps me out a ton. So if you guys watch it and you guys enjoy it, just drop a like for me, and uh, I'll drop a like in the friendship column for you guys. You know what I'm saying? So thank you. Right here, his first drive, he goes to the toss on third and five, and he decides, you know what? I'm gonna punt this ball away. Um, usually, when they do that, they probably aren't the the best of players typically. Um, because fourth and four is pretty go, pretty much go for it territory in Madden, but this guy's actually not bad, um, like by any means. I just kind of thought when he did that that he probably isn't the best, but he actually isn't bad. I've played him before, so he just must be a punter. Nothing wrong with that, but regardless here, we're up a stop now, and uh, we're driving. We're in his red zone, trying to get in the end zone here. And uh, we're going to hit a nice little playmaker, spin into the end zone, and get up 7 nothing. So perfect start once again. We're up a stop and a full score. So right here, he came out in his uh, his run his run formation again. I manned up everybody trying to stop it. He does a nice job. He bombs me over the top. So uh, good job by him there. Back to the run he goes. And Walter, trucking my whole team, gets him inside the red zone. Right now with this patch, if you're inside the three-yard line, it's a first and goal. You're pretty much good to go. It's going to be a touchdown almost every time. It's so hard to stop the run down there just because of the way people get dragged forward and all that. So right here, uh, we had our we actually had our crosser butt naked as well. Uh, we decided to take our post instead. Probably a little bit more risky of a throw, but regardless, a good read and we're able to get a first out. Now, as you see right there, I started falling down. This is something I won't recommend to you guys, especially haven't noticed it all very much in all Madden. So salary cap hasn't been as bad. But if you're an all-pro weekend league, mud head-to-head, -head, stuff like that, I would recommend falling down, to be honest with you. Uh, I know, like, in the past, spin, spin, spin was the goal. But kind of right now, to be honest with you, I feel like I feel like you're better off falling down if you don't think you can get away with the spin because you're going to be fumbling the ball just the way this patch works. So I'm recommending falling down now. We end up having to settle for three. Not the best thing in the world, but not the worst either. We're still up a stop, but if he's able to get points here before half, it puts us kind of back even and kind of brings the game back to back to par I'd say um because it's gonna be my ball at half but we wouldn't be up our score like we like we had hoped and after that first drive man I had a lot of trouble stopping the run I had no problem the first drive blew it up three times made him punt but ever since then he's just had a ton of success running the ball and I'm struggling to stop it um the drag forward animation along with just it being a good run in general um is giving me some trouble so we're trying to uh, trying to stop it, but we just can't, and we'll uh, we'll try to figure out as the game goes on. But he takes the lead right there. So even though we haven't been stopped and we have stopped him, just the way that the time the time and clock management's worked out has been in his favor, so that he's still able to be ahead going into halftime. However, it is my ball at half. 
Um, so if we can get some points here to end the half, we'll be we'll be Golden Graham. It'll, it'll help out a lot. This is a really important possession to at least get three. I don't want to turn the ball over here. And you know what? I don't know what just happened. That was a cloud flag. Please, I'm begging you guys. I'm begging you to go rewind it. Go take a look at that. I have no idea how he picked that. Ever. It was fluky of all fluky. Um, so instead of me at least minimum cutting it to one, maybe taking the lead going into halftime, I end up throwing a pick and he gets a field goal out of it. So I'm down seven instead of being down one or up three. Very frustrated by that. Um, felt like it was a very unlucky play. And uh, fact of the matter is, it uh, it helped him out a lot. So regardless, man, we got to go. We got to put a drive together and right off break we throw a straight up laser to calvin johnson his guys dive and miss and we're into the end zone so we tied it up but to be honest with you even though we needed that badly to tie it up it's kind of frustrating because it's like man instead of being tied like we could be up right now we could be up six we could be up ten like it's actually super annoying even though you do get even though you do need that but regardless he goes right back down the field on me and takes the lead by seven again so we found ourselves in a back and forth game now after after uh after being in a position to kind of kind of dominate it we've kind of given the game back a little bit which sucks to deal with but regardless third and 18 we're able to pick up the first down with a nice little dot right there huge first down pickup because we have been struggling um but as i mentioned to you guys like it's been unbelievable all week as we fumble the ball on a wide open dot it, like everything that happened this week has just kept people in games. It's just like I couldn't you, you, you couldn't blow anybody out. It just fumbles, weird picks, um, everything you can think of just was weird, man. It was it was it was tough to deal with. It was tough to deal with, and it just made every game close. Which which is why I didn't finish. Um, I just I was tired on a Sunday night. I was like, you know what? I really just don't feel like playing these last few games. So right there, barely get a first down. Made a quick read on that zig. Uh, but we're able to move the chains. We really just need a quick score here. We want to keep our timeouts um, So we just we just want a field goal and right there on that dot. We're gonna take our field goal uh, I wanted to be able to kick off get the ball back and give myself a chance to win um, So I did just that and got into field goal range and I kicked it right away. Uh, I Love that play. I don't regret that at all um, It ended up working out for us because we get our stop here and he punts us the ball back so We've got about 35 seconds to work with um, we happen to have a monster punter on this team, so we do have to work a decent amount of the field. However, we get a pretty solid return, so we get 31 seconds. We've got to go about 50, 40, maybe 40 yards, 40 yards, and then we get, we can chuck to the end zone. Luckily, first play, we throw a straight-up hot one. Now we're on his 30, and we're going to take all of our shots coming up right after this drag. So we get just a little bit more yards. Now we have, we're have we on the 27. We take two shots. Nothing happens. Last time here... And we just can't make it happen, man. Uh, unfortunate loss. Unfortunate loss. It's our first one of the week. Um, really, really felt like we should have won that one. We had a tough fumble as well as a tough interception in the red zone, which was pretty frustrating. But just like yesterday, we get ourselves a rematch. <laughs> Oh man, it, I don't even know. Were people just not even playing this week? I had two. I played the same person. Uh, I played the same person twice, three times, guys, three. Um, this is the second time I matched up with someone a second time, and then there was a third time. So it's pretty insane that this happened. I don't know how it happened, but regardless, we throw a straight up hot one. Oh my goodness. That's what they like to call in the biz a steamer. Stanley himself would be proud. We get down to the two yard line. You know he gets a sneak, and we're into the end zone. Pretty pretty crazy start of the game. We get a stop. We throw a we throw a Stanley, and we get to move the chains and we get a touchdown. So pretty pretty crazy start to the game. Um, but regardless, we're in for another sweaty man. Cause as I told you guys, even though this guy punts the ball, he's actually solid. Like he runs the ball well. It's very 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 difficult to stop his runs. And then when he has to pass, he actually makes pretty good reads. Um, so it's. Kind of tough to kind of tough to play against um, someone that can do both effectively passing and running. It makes them tough to stop. So um, right here, big 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 fourth down, and we're able to take off with Vic and get a first down. That's what Vic does for you. He always has that option to uh, to run for you, 
And when you have that when you have that threat, they have to spy you. And if they don't spy you, then they're gonna be in trouble. Right here, he only rushes two, and we go to the end zone. Awful, awful, awful read. Disgusting. Now I don't think that's picked very often, if I have to be honest. I I would bet that that would get picked maybe maybe two out of ten times. But it regardless, it was a miserable read. Um so instead of getting three there, we don't give him the ball back and just basically ruining the one stop that we did have already this game to give him a stop back. So it sucks. Uh that was on me though. Last game, a couple of things that went wrong, like yeah, I kind of blame uh, blame the game on that one, but that one, that one's 100% on me. Can't do that. And uh, when he's basically conceding himself to settle for three there, uh, just running the ball, he ends up <laughs> he ends up getting um he ends up getting a touchdown on the run, which sucks. And uh, we end up giving a touchdown instead, but we end up getting three, so it works out a little bit, I guess, because we're able to get time for ourselves. But we probably should have only been down three, not four. Right there, we catch him lacking. Uh, he didn't. He manned up everybody, but didn't man up our outside fade, and we get ourselves a touchdown. So we answer really quickly. Back up three here, and right there, perfect defense all over his read. He had thrown that streak you guys already seen three times probably to that tight end, and that time I was not giving it to him. Um, and we get ourselves another stop. So we're in great, great, great position now uh, to take to take over this game completely. Um, if we can get a touchdown, we'll go up two possessions, and the game will pretty much be over. Um, unfortunately, he plays really, really good defense, um, and we end up settling for three. So we only get up six here. So instead of being in a prime position to win, we're still only up one possession, which isn't bad uh, considering how that half ended. However, it could be better. So regardless here, uh, he uh, shoot, he he made good reads early in this game. He made bad reads late. And he throws us the ball right back again. Now, I'm thinking to myself, he can't move the ball anymore. The only thing he can do is run. Just don't turn it over. Just don't turn it over. If you settle for three, it's all good. And right here, you see the icon. I'm trying to fall this whole time. The millisecond that I cross the line of scrimmage, I am trying to fall down. And it just doesn't let me. The game, I know you guys have had that happen to you before. The game just doesn't let you fall sometimes. And it is so annoying and it lets him back in the game if i kick a field goal there the game is literally over it's over it's over instead he's right back in the game only down one possession he has a nice playmaker to throw a dot and then right there he throws right at us and we get no animation i just don't understand it was almost like the game was trying to take it away from me i don't know what happened right there he throws right at us nothing happens but a catch and he gets himself a touchdown very, very rough situation, man. We went from complete control to lit like literally dominating to uh, to, to being down. Um, regardless, we threw a little bit of a tight window. Uh, maybe a little bit of a tight window, but we were able to get the catch. Uh, so we moved the chains. Third and eight here, huge play. I go to my money play, which he has a middle stop all day. And we throw a nice laser on the sideline, huge laser. Now, we get ourselves down to a third and goal, just trying to waste as much clock as possible, just ran the ball every play, trying to take away all his timeouts, and look at that, we leave him with one timeout and 37 seconds. Perfect, perfect, perfect scenario, uh, and it puts him in a tough spot now. Fourth and nine, no timeouts left, little time remaining, needs a full touchdown, we get ourselves a sack. So we fought through it all, boys. We got ourselves the dub. It was a lot harder than it needed to be as which was the theme of the entire weekend tons of close games that did not need to be close man and it just whew, it took a toll on me um i was very 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 tired because <laughs> like weekend league it's like usually it's like okay you get 25 games you get you got to work really really hard in like eight of them it's like it's like a lot of them are like eh, they're, they're not good players or like or like they're decent players but they play bad so you have to blow them out like, and then like eight, like you usually play like really good players in there or like, like really good teams, like 99 overall type teams where like the team will battle for them. But it was like, man, every game close, close, close. I just could not, could not blow anybody out. So I was dealing with that all week. He drives down, perfect drive. The first drive gets a touchdown and right there we're throwing a wide open pass. Get the worst animation possible. Ball pops up in the air and he gets a pick. So very frustrating right there he, we could have had an interception but we don't get it um he ends up settling for three so at least we didn't give up seven but 
another just it's just like I feel like there was like five games where it just like they they drove down and scored and then the very first possession they just like let them let them back in the game and like right there like come on it's the same exact pass the first time it pops up in the air and he gets a pick the next time it fumbles it's like yo I haven't even played offense yet and the guy's already got 10 points and he's in my red zone again I literally haven't played offense yet and then of course he breaks another sack like Everything that just went on in this game, unbelievable, man. This is what I was talking about. Like, I felt like the whole week I was fighting from down 10 nothing. It's like, it was, man, I know I sound frustrated, guys, but, dude, it was rough. <laughs> so we throw a nice laser right there. Thankfully, hold on to it, too. Like, it's like the you just, you spot, you're, it's hard to play when you're spotting the points, you know what I'm saying? Like, and right there, we nice, nice little Calvin Johnson died. That's, that one's automatic. You guys can act like that one's an egg, and it is an egg, but that's like a calculated egg where you're going to catch that like 9 out of 10 times. If you guys want to go test it, trust me, you'll catch it. Right there, goes to the run. Uh, it's a nice little game with Todd Gurley, but as you can see, he's chewing clock on me. It it was just tough just, cause, just because I felt like we, like, so like we got our stop. And we scored on our quote unquote only offensive drive because of the turnovers that they took from us. And it's like, okay, we could already be winning this game. And right there, like, that's a normal hit. That is a normal hit. And I fumble again. Like, yo, like, come on. What am I supposed to do? And right there, we get the monster click on, monster hit stick, and we get our pick. But man, it's like, yo, I could be up 14 in this game. But I fumbled twice and I had a, the craziest tip pick known to man. Like, come on. Yo, like this is what I was talking about though, man. Like this week, if this doesn't drain you when you're playing, having to fight like this, I can't help you. Like, it's just, whew. Rough week, man. Rough week, rough week. But we ended up having to punt the ball back. Um, he played good defense that drive, got a couple sheds. I'll blame those on me though, because I did have bad pocket. Uh, if you're playing 3 3 5, man, you just can't back up. You got to stand tall in that pocket. And if they come free with their linebacker or something, you got to either make a quick read or take the sack. But you can't you can't uh, just keep backing up. It just won't work for you. But coming out of the fourth quarter here, it's 13 7. We felt like all game he hadn't made a drive since that first one. Uh, but he puts one together right here and basically puts a. Uh, Puts a seal on the game. He goes up nine. So we're basically in the same position that we were two games ago where we have to get a quick field goal and then get a quick touchdown. Uh, right here, we throw our, our wide open corner out. We get out of bounds. Big play there. Like I said, we're just trying to get into field goal range. And then the second we get into field goal range, we're going to uh, kick. Right there, I thought we beat him over the top. And i still looking at it again. If you guys want to rewind it, I feel like he beats him over the top. I really do. Um, I feel like Vic underthrew that. Maybe I backed up too far. I don't know. But regardless, we end up throwing a pick and we quit out, man. So that's our second loss. Rough, rough couple games for me. I mean, I just felt like right there we had so many opportunities just to take complete control of the game. And we just kept fumbling and just kept getting unlucky. So not going to trip on it, man. It, it's whatever. Um, but right there. You see who we matched up with. It's like, I guess you could call him my rival of Weekend League. It's Mr. Thunderball himself. Um, he is using his salary cap. Well, it's not a salary cap team. It's like a 91 overall team. Uh, he sold off a lot of his players. So he doesn't have as great a team as he usually does. And the way he plays defense, he doesn't back off his outside corners and deep quarters. So usually when they have 99 speed, you can't really burn them. But he doesn't have 99 speed everywhere now. So I could burn him on the outside. Um, and make that happen. So that's how we drove down the field the first drive. We were able to get seven. So good start by us. Um, right here, he actually he's in this. Um, what's the name of this? Uh, doubles, doubles north. I think it's a very, very good offense. It's got a good pitch. It's got a die. I think it's got a, no. It's got a, like an ace power type thing. Um, but it's got a lot of like really good plays in it. And then he's got really good passes in it along with um, route specialists. So he actually gives me a lot of trouble with it. He dots me up a lot. He actually has some lasers. You guys are going to see him. Um, he puts together some good drives. And he's tough to stop. Even though he doesn't have the best team, he's a smart player and knows what he's doing. So it's really, really tough to stop him. Um, and right there, we were just a millisecond late. Like if we're there just a tick sooner, we, we definitely pick that. But... 
Good dot by him, good read. Um, and he's got an open seam route, and he gets himself down to the one. You know that's an auto TD in this in this meta. So 14-14, we've scored twice real easy, but we haven't showed a blink of having a possible stop. So um, regardless, like I said, he just doesn't have the speed out there, and we throw Odell over the top and we're having no trouble moving the ball guys literally moving the ball with absolute ease and we get into the end zone again we just have to find some kind of way to get a stop and if we can do that we'll be in prime position to win this game right there nice little round combo puts a curl out there uh he's famous for his curls he claims them and he does a good job of using them so i'm a, i'm not i don't have no problems with that right there you see another curl over the middle of the field slow developing one at that and throws a nice little dot over the middle again. So we at least make him settle for three. But I tell you what, boys, this game is the definition of a shootout so far. We have not showed a blink, either of us, of defense. Not even a lick. Um, so we got to figure out something to get a stop right here. And we have him on a third and eight, which is a perfect chance here to maybe force him off the field. And we do just that. We force the fourth and 18. He's going to go for it, but... I'm much more confident that we can get off the field on a 4th and 18. We're sending the dogs at him. We're sending the dogs at him, and he just doesn't have time. So huge stop for us right there. Um, and now we're uh, we're driving. We throw it up to Moss. Going to catch that almost every time. And last play here, we're playing some big boy football. Ain't nothing wrong with playing some big boy football, boys. Um, this, is a, this is a league for grown men, and we play big boy football. <laughs> So touchdown right there, and that pretty much does it. Um, we're up 11. He hasn't showed any possibilities of stopping us at all. So even if he drives here, we're feeling confident on offense. Uh, but right there, we play pretty good defense. But he just is able to fit the corner on in. I can't really give that up. But to be honest, when I played sticks, I really felt like my corner, like my cloud would play the corner long enough for me to get there. But it didn't, but third and 13, he goes to the run, which I'm shocked about. He usually doesn't do that, but puts him in a fourth and five situation. We send no one at him. He probably was expecting a blitz and nothing doing, man. We got ourselves a user lurk, pick six, and that's a dub for us. So great game. We played no defense in the first half. However, we played pretty decent defense in the second half. We forced a stop on a fourth down and we got ourselves a pick six. Um, He's able to ag me right there, but he's pretty much just playing for practice right now. This game is over with. It's three possessions, fourth quarter. So right here, we're pretty much lurking back and forth on the left side. He tries to bomb us over the top and just can't get his feet down. That was actually a straight-up laser. You know what happens when you're in a game and you're losing. You throw that straight-up Stanley steamer, and you don't get your feet inbounds. You don't catch the ball. You pretty much don't want to play anymore. Um, so he pauses the game, but not really doing anything yet. So I guess he, maybe he makes me wait to 30. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure he quits out right here. And there you go. And what do you know? I told you guys, I don't think anybody was playing this week. I just matched up with the same people over and over again. And he gets himself a rematch. Um, we start off running the ball. Like I tell you guys, if I'm ever on a hash, I pretty much run the ball. Be just simply because um, I don't like not being on a hash when I'm passing the ball. And uh, right there, told you, he just can't keep up. And we throw a laser over the top. But I actually regret I passed the ball and I ended up taking a sack. So I ended up having to settle for three. I probably should have just ran the ball four times and gotten in the end zone there. But regardless, we settled for three. Um, he's done a nice job all like all last game passing the ball but we kind of feel like we have a good rhythm for what he wants to do uh, in the second half we played a lot better defense so we're going to try to do better this time and not allow him to make us look silly but so far he's doing that couple dots downfield and we have him on a third and eight now and uh we force a bad read right at me had a couple things to open underneath but we felt like he wanted to go over the middle and he threw it right at us um right after that he quits out man um, he'd had enough, I guess, uh, he didn't want to play me again, or, I know I didn't want to play him again, so, maybe that's why he quit out, I don't know, but, he quit out the game, uh, and we're moving on to the last game here, 
This is this is our last game. We just wanted to get ultimate and then we would quit. Um, I just didn't like I told you guys all week. I didn't have the energy, so uh, I figured 18 games would be good enough content for you guys as well as the rewards would be good enough for me. So right here, nice little laser to the to the uh, to the wheel round on the outside, and we take it to the crib. Another nice little dot that I actually like to run. Um, it's that wheel route gets in a nice little area, and right there we finally get a fumble back. It is about time that somebody fumbled against me and I didn't fumble against them. So we get a nice stop there and we throw a dot to, uh, I think that was Calvin. Was that Calvin? I think that was Calvin. I'm not sure. I had been switching Odell to that spot, but I don't think I did right there. So I'm pretty sure that was Calvin. Third and 12 here. He throws up a nice little wheel route. Somehow he gets his feet down. Uh, I thought that was going to be a hit stick, but he actually gets his feet down and moves the chains. Next play here. Nothing's open. We send our spy, and he throws it right to us. User lurk action, and uh, this game's pretty much over after that. We're up 14 nothing. He throws the pick. You know how it goes. He's out of there. Guys, I hope you enjoyed. This was a great weekend league, despite how close the games were. Just because I'm able to bring you guys exciting games. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe, and take it easy. Peace.